Greetings everybody, Rodamon here. Thank you for tuning in to RimWorld Android Sanctuary, Episode 15, Nibble Swarm. That's kind of khaki. I don't know, it's khaki enough. Who got the shield belt? Uh, Nightbot did. Okay, that's fine. And it looks like basic nano kits are going to be the next research after we get basic replacement parts. Now the um, the Android upgrade station will allow Gray, who now has considerable craft skill, to start uh, tuning upgrade. Ooh, me or sh come on! Yes! Oh yes! Gold for days. Come on, Randy. Try to hit me. Hit me with that meteor shower. All right, basic nano kits are next. Got it. Yeah, these animals need to leave now. No kidding. So I'm just stuck here. Like a putz with two steel to my name. Ridiculous. Are they getting heat stroke? No, guinea pigs are very uh, heat resistant. They're good up until 55C, and it's only 53C, so they're not getting heat stroke. They're just squeeing loudly. Basic replacement parts are done. Uh, nano kits were next, and then I have to pull you on what's after that. So, here's your list again. We're getting through this really, really fast because Gray um, is a. God tier intellect. He's basically just like a singularity mind at this point. I love the combat music as if I'm like fighting something. I'm not. I'm not fighting anything. Just some guinea pigs I refuse to kill. The iguanas have started to leave, so these guinea pigs are probably gonna be here for another day and then they'll they'll piss off. Uh, my power is starting to recover. Okay, precision rifling is what you want. Next, we are blitzing through this because this is beneath Gray's skill considerably. Guinea pigs, go! Yes! <laughs> so, uh, because I went through the extraordinary caution of walling up my entryway, the guinea pigs immediately retargeted the mechs and ripped them to shreds. So, here is why I haven't opened my door. Because, no, I don't want to be on the receiving end of that. That was amazing. <laughs> oh man. Only like very few guinea pigs actually died from that. Like some are obviously bleeding out and we'll die soon, but there's only like, I don't know what, seven dead guinea pigs for the one, two, three, four, five dead mechs. That's a really good ratio. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, death by guinea pig. How how embarrassing for the crimson. So, so Crimson Rust, you did say you would be back. And, um... <laughs> you better come back with more, because, uh... I will absolutely take your, your free... your free materials there. Alright, so Preservative Rifling is what we're going to get now. I'm just going to ask you what's coming after that, because we're whipping through this quick. So, Pulse... I'm just going to call it Pulse Guns, because I'm too lazy to type the whole thing out. Can we raise the Storyteller difficulty? 
Uh, we could. It's already on Blood and Dust. It's the second highest. The reason I don't have it on the highest is because I have so many additional restrictions that weakens me, like not living outdoors and all that stuff that um, I figured playing on the hardest difficulty with all of the crazy restrictions that I have for myself would be overkill. And it hasn't, surprisingly. But maybe in the last hour, I could do it. I just don't want to wipe before the last hour. Because that would be sad. Oh, a hype train. A new hype train. And Randall Thor, welcome back. All right, these so, so some of these pigs are starting to bleed out. And they should be leaving soon. We could probably kill them now at this point, but... Um, I'm fine turtling. Also, uh, Copper Knight, thank you for the uh, the sub. Crimson Rust, Randall Thor for the bits, and you're why we have a hype train. Oh, poor Muff unit never got built. I'm still teeter tottering on like not enough power. Would I rebase in another mountain? Well, I already have some structures over here, and I could keep spreading. Oh, bummer. That broke down. It broke down recently, though, because the battery still has plenty of power. Hey, Glitch. Thanks for the bits. Cheers. That's a granola bar, but cheers. <clears throat> right out with me, friends. Right out with me. Oh, right. That's forbidden. Squee! I didn't want to be under house arrest any longer. Randallthor and Techie, thanks for the uh, gifted sub in the bits. Oh God, why are you guys out? Oh, no, 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 no. Ark and Traderbot get back inside. They're not uh, acclimated to this temperature. You know what? There's still a lot of guinea pigs left. Let me just go back inside. We'll clean up the guinea pig soon. Hey, active. Thanks for the pits. Forbid and gray zoned. So now gray has access to the research bench. We'll get back out soon. Some of them are taken care of, yeah, and a lot of them have corpses. Uh, the other thing is, yeah, we'll have mechs to break down, and then we'll have some of these guinea pigs to butcher. A lot of them rotted, though. Looks like there's one. Some of them are probably unconscious due to injuries. Actually, not many. They're either alive or they're dead. But we'll be out there soon, mining and whatnot. So... Android mine implants will be next. That's going to be a pretty spicy one because that will uh, significantly increase our efficiency. I could also run a um, a trade caravan because we have a lot of insect jelly, which is um, you know has considerable value to our neighbors. And my power is high enough that I feel comfortable. Bringing the uh, long-range scanner back online. Pa power is obviously a severe hindrance. Oh, look at you, Yoda. Oh, not Yoda. Me. Yoda's going bye-bye. Oh my god, we have so much kibble. Alright, precision rifling's done. You said android mining plans, so this is... You can see the, the you can see the benefit. Like agricultural implant, forty extra yield. Or geological implant, 
Uh, 50% extra yield. Uh, negotiator. Trade price and negotiation. Uh, you could also just do move speed. Or research speed. Or soldiering. Or medical tending. Or animal handling, or so on and so forth. Right? They're really, really powerful implants. Very powerful implants. And the full list can be found on the wiki, which is... Uh, here. Functionally, I'm probably only going to do one implant each. Just to be fair. I think the wildlife... Yeah, alright, they're moving on now. We are... Good to unrestrict, except for... Arc and Trader Bot, because it's just probably too hot for them. We could try it. What is your comfort? 48 and 47. I'll try it. We'll see if they get heat stroked. So we're going to need a lot more steel. Um, I don't know if I want to ruin this mountain. Nah, I'm going to ruin the mountain. I think given the uh, amount of time I have, it's not going to be a precious resource I need to cherish. And let's unforbid the door. So, research. There we go. Head on edge. Thanks for the bits. I'm still going? Yeah, I still have an hour and 16 minutes left. <clears throat> if I didn't have to live with the consequences of going longer, I would even go longer than that. But I think tomorrow would be brutal if I did. <laughs> So, we're hauling corpses. Oh, I should also unforbid all, so we can... There was only one guinea pig that didn't fit the bill. Oh, hey! We found compacted machinery. That helps a lot. And... Let's stop hunting. Because that could end poorly. Now that my power is a little bit better, I'm going to start grinding skill points. But as soon as my power dips, I'll uh, undo it. And once we get a little bit more... Oh yeah, here's some meat. Once we get a little bit more steel, I can dye arc khaki. Oh wow, I found even more components. Nice. So the big thing that I really want is the upgrade station. That is going to be huge for us, being able to upgrade our bots without high risk of failure. It's going to be pretty important. Hey, Panda. Thanks for gifting out a sub. All right, zero. You're going to get, or rather, Trader Bot, you're going to get one more melee up to 12, and then I'll start to figure out what Ark wants. You're going to have to share these skill points. I know, it's sad. Ark, you said you wanted animal handling. All right. Got it. So this mountain here, oh, might be a power generator. I'll have to check it out. So the idea is maybe if we can fit solar in here to throw a solar panel and a skill, a solar panel, a battery, and a, uh, a skill server, and just to have it grind out like a crypto farm. Is this song from Stellaris's soundtrack that I use? Yes, it is. It's not from the actual Stellaris game. I just run my own soundtrack because I don't like the Stellaris soundtrack all that much. Uh, we swapped research spots, but yeah, whatever. All right, I'm going to build it with um, gray rather than the arc because arc is a tier one bot who's very prone to failure. Oh, excellent. Okay, so now that it's excellent quality... Um, as you can see, the surgery success chance for robotics goes up to 
So here's what we could do, if you're wondering. We can, uh, we can, oh, you know, we don't have a lot of the hack stuff. So never mind. There's not a lot that we could do that uh, comes with advanced programming or finishing up mine implants. So speaking of finishing up mine implants, I'm going to gray zone everybody so that gray has access to the high tech research bench instead of the uh, uranium scanner. So we can research faster and let's get you hopped up on drugs. And TraderBot, I'm going to get you hopped up on drugs too. Because you'll scan for uranium. Look at how much faster you move. So here's the steel that we were desperate for. And some components. Ooh, we're getting three? Because our mining yield is higher. So yeah, we have a chance for even more than than two, which is great. And it does look like I'll be able to nest some solar panels in here, I think. Uh, but I'll get back to that. I need to steal more desperately. So our upgrade stations... Yeah. With its quality, it's, uh... Yeah, that's really good. I could stick it uh, in here, but there's just not a lot of room. We could trip over it. I guess that's okay. Because there... Uh, let, me, let me see if it makes a difference. So our final factor was... Uh, when it's on... 93%. Oh, but it, I don't think it counts the upgrade cabinet. No, uh, we don't need to move it. Because I don't believe it's counting the upgrade cabinet. Another infestation. Come on, be original. This is only a three hive infestation, so it's not that bad. It does mean that we're probably not going to want to go in here for a bit. The other thing that might happen is that these bugs might dig steel for me. But I got to be careful to forbid the steel and not go in there. Yeah, I could swap this uh, wall lamp. The advantage of this wall lamp is it's techist style, which actually is not doing anything for me because I don't have enough techist stuff in here to uh, for it to matter. I could burn them out. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I could do that. I could just shoot them because, you know, they're fleshy. They get shot. Oh, man, that tea is hot. Just what I need, a burn tongue for the next 70 minutes. Let's wait on that. But I gotta say, the, the baiting of the infestations have been going really, really well. And <laughs> going the full 12 hours? You paid for it, of course I am. Of course. Ark, uh, one thing I can do for you is to die khaki. So, let me get that going. There we are. Oh, what the heck? You gotta, you gotta stay in the, oh, oh, he went to the other bed. And mine implants is done. What's next? I will start to get advanced programming because I think that's going to be important and yeah, I don't care if you voted for it or not, because I'll queue it up. Ark, quit it! Okay, he's going to the... All right, fine, whatever. He's being very frustrating. Oh, I don't have steel? No, I have steel for it. Oh. That is not khaki as I know it. That's like all of drab. What color is this? Hang on, I'm gonna make you strip. I'm really curious as to what the developer thinks khaki is. Maybe I, I mean, I know what color can I think khaki is. This is like um, this is not khaki. What is color? But you know, 
Yeah, it's like army green. Did I hit army green? Let me let me double check that I didn't get this wrong. So khaki, khaki. I see it. It says khaki. And I don't have enough material. What material is needed for this? Ten steel. Yeah, I have the material. What are you talking about? Oh, because someone's trying to touch the steel. Yo, Techie. Well, Techie's doing the operation. That's fine. No, that's khaki according to the game. Okay. Uh, that's fine, I guess. So this is the color that you, if you want to be yellow, you can tell me you want to be yellow, because that is not what I would expect from khaki. Uh, the server. Oops. Great bot. You're gonna be the best mailer in the world at this rate. I'm sure I've had those skills for that for a long time now. Nightbot, I don't think you're gonna be able to shoot that shotgun with the, um, shield belt on. I kind of forgot he normally wears a shield belt. He's just coming out here for, for support. Uh, all right, opening volley. Perfect. You missed, but it hit better. Run, Panda, run. Run, Panda, run. Run, Panda, run. Ah! Consume your gel. Uh, or later. Do it later. Ooh! Bye-bye. I don't know what a pronotum is, but bye-bye, pronotum. It seems to be a fatal shot. Uh, everybody else stay inside. Panda, go switch guns. Oh, uh, Ark, you have to drop your gun. So Ark, stay here for a second. I was hoping that fire- Oh no, that fire is doing pretty good. Little weapon swappy. Come on, guys. Oh, wow. We almost lost another right middle finger. That has been a... bit of a recurring injury for Panda. He must flip off everybody he shoots at. I think I've solved the mystery of the missing right finger. He likes the bird. The dude likes the bird and uses it a bit too often to be healthy. Tech, you know! Be speed. Like gray. Any injuries? Non per... Yep, non permanent. Wow, come on! Six shells, zero hits. Channel your inner pestily or something. Oh, there's so few hits. I see you, little sneaky weaky. Oh no, Panda! Keep the finger, keep the finger! Oh, you gave him the whole arm, got it. Yep, that's a winning strategy. Ah, jeez, not me. I'm too... How old am I? 100, 315 years old? I'm too young to die. I'm 
I'm just older than literally every other android in the colony combined, which is too young. All right, so what's left? Ha! Huh, that scarab has ruined the jelly. Uh, so unrestrict home zone it. So we put out the fire and numbers says there's a spellipede left. This one. Why? Where is it going? I don't know. Don't care. So you guys go put out this fire. And then we'll go hunting for the last spelly. Can I one-shot it? Nope. Almost. Wow, I can live without a stomach. All right, uh, let me get advanced programming. That obviously got voted on. And dead. So the fires have been put out. Traitorbot, you want to wield that uh, that wonderful amount of skill that you have? Speaking of skill, let's add to it. Oh, I'm not protected, but that's okay. I think you started what, like seven? Yeah, this is well, a little easy to do. Especially when you can transfer into a stronger body. But, hey, you know, I like it. Alright, the other thing I need is, um, Panda, I know you're hurt, but I need steel. We are a steel-addicted society. Uh, we should... I guess someone already hauled the structure gel, so that's awesome. Oh man, I have so much kibble. I could make chem fuel out of kibble. That's a possibility. So, is everyone good? Healthy? Patched? Not patched. Alright, so Nightbot's the only one that needs patching. Is the exploiting complete? Uh, when do you want the exploiting to be complete? That's kind of up to you. I don't currently have the uranium to give you a new body, but you are the one trying to find uranium, so... You're at 56% guaranteed find. And we should give you your Warhammer back and your shield belt. And then allow all of the bugs so we can haul them in. And finish them off, so... Setting up to be hunted. Uh, there was a meteorite, but it was not, sadly, uranium. It was gold, steel, jade, and machinery. Great, but not what we were looking for, sadly. Advanced programming is done. So, what advanced programming opens up for us is the ability to either... Um, to personality change, to give the characters traits which the owner of the character has to um, has to allow for that. Like, I'm not going to make that decision. Um, and then it also allows us to overclock. Again, that's something that is up to the owner of the character. So, um, if you want that, uh, you can either ping me in the Android Characters channel if you want me to try to give you uh, personality or an overclock. So an overclock is um, higher consciousness, but at the cost of a slightly higher mental break. We hit 400. Yeah, oh my god, I'm 400 again. By the time I get the uranium for you, Trader Bot, you're going to be at uh, 20 melee. And then I'll start uh, dumping points into Ark. Oh, pants. Excellent pants. I, uh, I should probably take Ark off of Taylor.
Wait, great, you're researching? Oh, because, um, I need a new research queue. Let's give you... I don't know, IEDs? Mortars? Mortars. Something. I know it's not part of the options, I just wanted to queue something up. Alright, so here's the steel that we desperately needed. And then another question I'm gonna have is, um... You volunteer for a personality? Okay, Panda. So the way this works is we use the upgrade kits. So I go, I'll demo the personality one, the personality change. So the personality change is giving them a different set of three traits that may or may not be suitable for an Android. It's kind of a random toss up. And then we have you rest. And then Gray, I'm gonna have you hopped up on structure gel so that you don't screw this up. And we operate. So, Gray, your surgery success chance for androids is very, very good. I think we're okay. 114%. So this is only a critical fail scenario, it looks like. You're also willing for anything? I could overclock you. Nope, we failed. In a minor way. It's a it's a difficult procedure, as um as you can see, even with the ridiculous skill that I have, it still runs a risk of failure. Which is why I wanted the, the people that are going to receive the treatment to volunteer for it. So, Trader Bot, I am going to overclock your mind. So I'm going to overclock Android. It's very, very... Um, it's safe to do on a T1 bot, because they are happy. But we're using uh, upgrade kits for this. And there you are. So here's what an overclock looks like. Consciousness, 20%. Work speed, 20%. Mental break threshold, 8%. It's uh, pretty awesome, if you ask me. And Panda, I'm going to wait to queue you up for another personality matrix change, because um, I don't want to do additional damage to that cracked arm and lop it off, because that's it's very possible. All right. We're going to change the research to pulse munitions. From mortar. And that way we, I can get more of those big guns. The anti-mix. So what should my priority be? Resource gathering for T3s. Trade with all the jelly, etc. Upgrading Androids or viewer suggestions? What do you guys think? You can vote. And TraderBot, I am sure there's more mind hacking to be done for you. Shield up. Yeah. So we need three shield belts. So right now, his, uh, mainly his 16, <laughs> and it's just climbing. Actually, I lied. It is 17. I, I get so many more skill points than I'm allotting. It's just because it's... It's, uh... Oh, I didn't mean to turn those off. It's labor-intensive to constantly turn them on, turn them off, turn them on, turn them off. Hey! The mech hive landed on someone. Who did it land on? Let me go through and look for shadows. Techie? No. Arc? No. Nightbot? No. Oh, it's just outside. It's just two of them? 
Unless these are centipedes, you guys messed up. Crimson, you done did not bring your A-game. Some scythes. Uh, Ark, I don't think, um... I don't think that's the right gun for this fight. Ooh, that's a nice shield belt. They're going after my bait turret, as expected. <laughs> Had solar flare, can't help it. <laughs> now let's do this. And they're dead. <laughs> All right, bait turret did exactly what it needed to do. It baited out the shots. It got destroyed. And uh, the mechs are dead, but I did get plasteel out of that, so I don't mind. And Gray, get back to shield belting, because that shield belt was dope. The last one you made, and who put it on? Panda did. Excellent. And TraderBot's going to get the next one. Also, no, I don't have the skill points yet. So trade with all the, the jellies is the priority that you have for me. And my trade price improvement... I'm gonna go with whoever has highest trade price improvement, which is great. I'm sorry, Nightbot. I know that... Or Portlino. I know that you wanted to be our trader, but um, it's gonna go to the dude that gets the most money. Money's worth. Aota. Hey, it's yours, dude. So the shibots are done. And I'm gonna have Gray take all of this jelly to town. Uh, I have bad feelings about Exelos, so I'm gonna go north to the major Arashire. Exelos kind of made me mad. I'm gonna bring Shona and Phoenix because they have additional carry weight. We're also gonna bring Gray, obviously, because someone needs to lead the animals. Uh, we are going to bring the leathers that are never gonna amount to anything because... Uh, no, that's not true. I could I could make patch leather, I guess. I'm gonna bring the jelly. Oh, 700 it. And some nutrient solution. Some rice. Or actually just kibble. Why even bother with the rice? I don't even need to bother with the nutrient solution. I'll just bring kibble. Uh, Gray doesn't care if he eats kibble. He's a robot. He doesn't taste it. It just goes into a bioprocessor. It's basically like throwing it into a kill or a, a coal furnace or whatever. So we are going to bring silver and gold. I'm bringing the gold because I know that I have a giant thing of um, I have a giant meteorite of gold that I can mine. So gold is not going to be a bottlenecked resource. And the Gauss seeds. And uh, I'm going to keep the jade so I can turn it into art, but I'm going to bring 66 of the jade. I'm going to make two large statues out of it with whomever and bring the remainder. Or no, I, I'll bring 16. I'll make a small statue too. Uh, there was jade meteorites, wasn't there? No, no I keep, I'll keep it. I lied. Okay, travel time 8.8 .8, and we have more than enough food. But let's go. Oh, glow pods too? I don't think anyone buys glow pods, though. That's the problem, is they're worth something, but no one actually purchases them. It's not like a valid thing that they actually buy. So, Traderbot, you now have a shield belt as well. And... You're now... 18 melee. You paid for a pet Yoda? You demand a pet Yoda? Alright, you know what? Not only am I going to do that, Yoda, you gotta look at them, not me. He's He can't help but to stare at me, see? Hi, buddy. You're a good boy. You're the best co-streamer ever. Well, I don't know. You give Trustin a run for his money. But I think even Trustin would like to admit that you're better at it. 
<laughs> there he goes. He is a very sweet dog. He also told I've been handling him like a lot his entire life, so he totally doesn't mind. Kiss him for you? <laughs> I will. Yeah, we have a lot more jade. It wouldn't be a terrible idea for Panda to start going after that gold, though. It would increase our uh, colony wealth, but, like, I see that as a plus at this point. Especially given that we have 45 minutes left, so let's go for bank. And by bank, I mean a lot of money. So there they are. They're off to go trade with Major Irishire. It's a weird little globe, isn't it? I like it. Nineteen. I did that without even the protection of security. Does Yoda sleep? Yeah, he sleeps in the bed when he's clean. He's, uh, he'll be ten soon. He's almost ten. Alright, bot. What are you gonna eat? I have no idea. You're so limited. So you voted on a, a trade run, and then after the trade run, uh, what do you want me to do? Here's just three simple options. I can either gather resources for the T3s. Oh boy, let me turn things off too, because I am about to brown out. As soon as I get the next uh, set of um, tra trade um, points to get 20 melee, I'm going to turn off these skill grinders uh, for my power to bounce back, because my power is really bad right now. A shuttle crash. Alright, so now you are... I feel like Trader Bot at this point is beep. Uh, you want a name change? Sure. To zero? Oh, you got up. Oh, you're from Collective Androids, though. I should not kill you, because you're an ally. But if you could, like, pass out so I can get credit for rescuing you, that'd be great. And uh, I'm not allowed to take Loki, so sorry, Loki. Nothing personal, kid. No, you're supposed to pass out. I'm not going to be able to get that. Oh, you were asking about the Harris part? Oh, I see. The... Wait, what are you asking? Oh, your first name? No, I can only change your... Um, your nicknames. So, Gray is there. Oh boy. I could... Oh, he is of Thrall. Hmm. What are you? Cormont too smart. And you? Hard worker cannibal? With a hydraulic frame? I could buy them. They're pretty expensive though. But I do now have the silver. As I brought it. I could get... Architect Hearing Sensor. I don't really need that, though. And you guys want me to gather for the T3s. Copy that. So the Engineering Implant uh, gives me Android Surgery Success Chance, which might be good to implant in uh, our dock. So that's a possibility. It is relatively expensive, though, but yeah, it's still pretty good. Um, Doomsday Launcher. So there's a mech rifle that I could buy. I have a feeling like I'm going to start making them soon, but I don't know. I'll add that to the queue as a possibility. Sell the gold. Buy it. No, I'm really hurting on power. I'll buy a telescope. Eight 
And they do have uranium. So... I'm gonna buy the uranium to speed up the process of another T3. And then the remainder of my money, I don't have enough. Here, let me just trade for this for now. I'll trade 50 uranium and figure out... For me to make another T3, so a blank is 70 uranium and I have 50 here. How much do I have at home? Uh, 13. Uh, okay. I won't have the carry weight to bring that all home. So I can sell some kibble and then buy the surgery success chance implant. Because, uh, no, I, I might have the carry weight if I sell kibble. 60. There. So that's enough for another blank. How many hours do I have in RimWorld? Oh, I don't even know because I was playing RimWorld before I was on... Um, before I was on... Um, before it came to Steam. So I was playing it before it, it was... It tracked time. So like 4,000-ish, maybe? A lot. A lot, a lot. And yeah, there we go. Engineering plant. And let me sell the least amount of kibble for that as possible so I can have food for the return trip. There. All right. Let's hope that uh, implanting the implant won't fail because that's always a possibility. Thank you for tuning in to Android Sanctuary, which originally streamed live on Twitch February 12th. Android Sanctuary is the February miniseries marathon winner streamed live one time only February 12th. If you would like to know more about the process of the miniseries or all of the series that I put out, the How Series Are Chosen link on my website, radamont.com, will fill you in on the details. If you have any feedback or questions for me, let me know in the comments below. But please keep in mind that this series is over. It only streams live once, so suggestions cannot be incorporated. If you would like to join my gaming community, Rodamont.com or the description of this video also have a link to Discord. Thank you so very much for watching. A special thank you to all of my Twitch subscribers, Patreon patrons, and viewers like you that support the channel. I hope to catch you next episode or an upcoming stream. Farewell, and stay safe out there, androids.